Ten months ago, Wally Corley was in tears, having all but decided to close down his much-loved barbecue chicken business. Today, thanks to one inspired decision, Wally's business is thriving. He's got his own range of merchandise and he's quite a big thing on Facebook. It was the best decision he ever made. (laughs) Oh, sorry. I mean best decision he ever made. (laughs) Hey, uh, before we immerse ourselves in uh, more dad jokes and episode 384 of the Small Business Big Marketing Show, the marketing gold is made possible thanks to Fastmail and Dragon speech recognition software. Now, you need Dragon. Why? Great question. Because it converts whatever you say into text. Given we speak three times faster than we write, Dragon has to be the productivity hack of the century. You download the software, you start talking, and your words appear on your screen, which means you can create documents, blog posts, emails, reports, even spreadsheets. Hate spreadsheets, but you can create them in a third the time. You can get an exclusive 35% off at getdragon.com.au. Hey, and speaking of being more productive, this episode is also brought to you by Fastmail. Private, secure, ad-free email hosting that is lightning fast. Packages start from less than four bucks a month and you can grab a free 30-day trial, plus get 15% off your first year over at fastmail.com forward slash Timbo. Now... On with the dad jokes. Well, I said, welcome to a small business marketing show. A successful small business owners share their souls. To take your marketing straight to the lead. Now, here's your host, Mr. Tim Bowie. And welcome back to the Small Business Big Marketing Show. The number one marketing podcast in Australia, as ranked by the Apple iTunes Store. Nice. And we're also available on Spotify as of last week. Happy with that. And we're in flight on all Virgin Australia flights. I'm your host, Timbo Reid, but you, infinitely, infinitely more importantly, are a motivated business owner ready to crank out some great marketing to build that beautiful business of yours into the empire it deserves to be. Big show today. Always big show. We meet a barbecue chicken shop owner who came close to closing nine months ago but made a very, very ingenious marketing decision. I share another low-cost marketing idea that'll get you responding, or at least it'll get you responsive. And we go back into the vault, revisiting a killer moment during a chat I had with the world's leading search engine optimization expert, Rand Fishkin. Oh, boy. As per usual, team, there is marketing G-O-L-D dripping from the ceiling over here at Small Business Big Marketing's HQ. So let's get stuck right in. Coming up after today's interview, I'll share how you can be a little bit more responsive online with your business. But right now, let's meet today's successful business owner. You know, one thing I love about doing this show for you is that we learn from all sorts of business owners. You know, 12 weeks ago, we met Radek Sali, the brains behind the $1.7 billion sale of Swiss multivitamins. It was only seven weeks ago we heard from a fellow who turned over $2 million in his first 12 months of owning an e-commerce store. And today, you're going to meet a fellow who just days before last Christmas was sitting at the dinner table with his mum and dad crying because he could see no other option than to close his fledgling second-generation barbecue chicken shop. His name's Wally Corley. He's a big fella, and he's the owner of Mama's Barbecue Chicken and Salad Bar located in an outer suburb of Melbourne. Nothing fancy, just a family-run takeaway business selling chickens, souvlakis, <laughs> and the occasional salad, very occasional salad, I think. Unlike most guests, Wally didn't have a bio that I could introduce him by. He's got no fancy qualifications. He's got a learning disability that could have held him back if he'd let it. What he has got is a big, big heart and a burning passion for what he does. So instead of closing the business last Christmas, 
Wally started posting a few Facebook videos of his delicious barbecue chicken. Nothing happened, not at first anyway, but then, four months ago, he upped the ante. <laughs> he whacked on a sparkly gold bowler hat, he put on some doof doof music and started busting some pretty quality dance moves around his shop. Here's how that sounded. <laughs> You really have to see those videos. I've put a link in the show notes for you to view them. Uh, suffice to say, business is now booming for Wally. He's got his own range of merchandise and he's being paid to feature in other local businesses' videos. Great story. I started off by asking Wally, when it comes to chickens, is he a breast or a thigh kind of guy? <laughs> now, that's a good one. I'm a bit of both. I don't mind a bit of both. <laughs> Sometimes the left uh, left breast is better than the the right thigh. Is that right? Yeah. Is there a reason for that? One's bigger than the other. <laughs> good on you. What about, um, just before we get into the serious side of um, how you're building this business, what about popcorn chicken? Is popcorn chicken overrated? I think so. Mm. I think so it is. Um I am trying a few new things as well. You're getting a bit cocky now that these yeah. videos are taking off, eh? No, I'm not getting cocky, but I think there's um, a big thing for fried. So Do you like you didn't get that joke? No, cocky. I didn't. Cocky. Yeah, rooster. Is it cocky? Like a, a, a cock? I don't know. No. I don't know. Let's not go there. It's a family show, this one. Well, stop mucking around. Be serious. That's it. Be serious. <laughs> Be serious. It's business. I've met your beautiful parents just yes. uh, there, Joe and Ma- is it Maria? Yeah, Mary, Maria. Maria. Ma- 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 now you got Mama's chicken, uh, Mama's barbecue chicken and salad bar. Yes. How, how did that come about? Oh, mum, mum and dad have always had um, charcoal chicken shops. Have they? Yeah, in the past, and um, yeah, it was just we've always grown up working in takeaway shops, and uh, yeah, when like. I didn't always in the charcoal. I was actually before that in a bottle shop. Ah, because yes. you've got a sister who's a hairdresser, a brother who's a mechanic. Yes. Were you just the you were the anointed child? I was of like, just. Wall's, Wall's going to take over the business yeah, one just, day. This is going to be the uh, the main man. <laughs> main the man. main man. The There's boss. no choice in it. There was no choice. There's no. no not, you're not going to do a course or or a, anything. You just. Work in the chicken shop. You know, when I typed in the address to come here, yes. it came up as a KFC. Did you know that? No. I typed it into Google Maps. There you go. I thought, this is genius. The guys have actually... <laughs> I didn't even know t- that. Well, there, there you, you go. go. Maybe it wasn't a KFC. Maybe it was just an error on Google Maps behalf. Maybe. But I thought, I think But as, so. as a marketing decision, that would have been a genius one to take yeah. over a KFC site. Um, I'm better than KFC. What do, you, what do you love about running the business? I love the love the people. Love seeing a smile on people's faces when they come in and eat the chicken and chips and the fried chicken. I love seeing a smile. Done a little bit of reading about you since you've got this incredible fame that's just going around the world with the videos that we're going to talk about. One thing I've noted is that you really genuinely do love what you sell, don't you? I mean, yes, you are passionate yes. about chicken, hundred percent, and that just comes through time and time again. Yeah. Has that always been the way? It was like, always, yeah. always, yeah. No, always enjoyed it. Well, you know, great marketing. The best marketing is a great product, they say. So you clearly yep. Uh, yep. worked on it. Yeah, no, it's, it's done well for me. Do you have a little bit of uh, product development going on in the back there? You're constantly trying new things? N- new things, uh, new What's seasoning. That look like? Yeah, it's a mess. <laughs> it uh, takes a bit of time. I think the best time to do something like that is um, when you're, like, honestly, like, just bored. You've got nothing to do and mm-hmm. you just come up with different ideas. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. We'll, we'll add a bit of this and we'll add a bit of that. What's one, the, the best idea you've come up with going, my God, this is going to turn things around, besides the video? I haven't announced it yet. Oh, but um, this, is, this is exclusive? Yeah, exclusive. yeah, it is okay. pretty much it is. Um, the, the seasoning that I'm going to be putting on the chips, you've got a choice between your normal chicken salt yep. and you've got your choice of the flavour, flavour salt. Or is it the flavour, flavour, flavour salt? That's the one. Three. Three, um, yes. I, I'm a little bit worried. I'm a chicken salt fanatic. I think it's one of the, possibly one of the greatest inventions man's ever made is yes. chicken salt. You're going to challenge it? A hundred percent. Are you okay? I've already have. I've, I've, uh, a few people have tried it. Yeah. And they're like, give me more. Really? Yes. 
Are we going to go back inside and try it later? Oh, yeah, 100%. Here we go. 100%. Here we go. Because, you know, most of, I'm a marketing guy through and through. At the Adelaide Oval, where they play FL, there's yep. actually a billboard for chicken salt. Have you ever seen it? No, I haven't. There you go. I don't think you need to promote it. No. Everyone knows chicken salt. Everyone knows it. So Even kids, you know, age of three, four. Correct. Correct. I mean, well, you know, we've invented the wheel, irrigation, sanitation. But I think chicken salt's... <laughs> it's you, up there. I know. I know. We're getting a bit emotional. What do you find really hard about running the business? Preparation. Um, staff. Staff's pretty... Um, it's pretty hard to keep the staff. You know, you, you're training new staff every week. That must be hard. Every week? Yeah. Because no one wants to work. They want money, but they don't want to work. It could be you, Walt. Have you thought about that? No, it's not me. Have you done any exit interviews saying you've been with us three days, champion? No, Why are you look, leaving? It's, it's, I don't know. I, I think it's a bit of everything. Yes, a uh, bit of staff, bit of bit of dancing sometimes. Well, that would scare people off. We'll yeah. come to that. Staff, just out of interest, is um, for you, and it might not be interesting to you all. So tell me to move on. But I've spoken to over three hundred and eighty successful business owners, and people continues to rear its ugly head as a major stumbling point to businesses as you either you're either very good at attracting and retaining them or it becomes an ongoing problem yeah it is an ongoing, ongoing what problem. are you going to do about it because that's kind of probably holding your business back I haven't really thought about it yeah you're too interested <laughs> in the next bloody chicken salt yeah. aren't you i'm too yeah too interested in the uh chicken salt and a bit of Flavor, flavor, flavor. <laughs> I love how you're dropping that. That's called seeding in marketing. You keep dropping in yeah, your tagline <laughs> or I'm waiting for you to tell the address or something, but yeah. hold that. You know, I, I wonder whether as these videos grow in popularity, and they're popular, I, I actually think you're building now a chicken brand that people yep. are starting to hear about. I mean, you're telling me on the way here that the Today Show or Sunrise, yes, a TV yes, show, is interested yes. in you. You've been in the Herald Sun. Yep. You're now on the Small Business Big Marketing That's Show. Right. Well, life That's is right. complete. What I mean by that is all of a sudden people are going to go, oh, well, I know I know, Mama's Chicken and Salad Bar. I wouldn't mind working there. Yeah, right? no, I've had a few people there like that. There you go. Yeah, there you go, yes, yes. So what, what did that conversation sound like? Oh. Are you Wally? Are you Wally? Oh, they start shaking. They're like... Can I have a job? Really? Can I have a job? Mate, that's how it works. Yeah. So I want to talk to you afterwards about how you're going to continue this excitement because I think it's one, it would be one of your great challenges besides in trying to beat chicken salt, which I think you're completely I've ridiculous. Been there. Hey, uh, listeners, I am talking to, I meant to ask you your surname, Wally Corley? Coley, Coley. If you want to say it the uh, Middle East way. I don't. Way, I don't. Uh, it's very pretty, okay. pretty easy. On. Let's do it. It's uh, Coley. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking to Wally. I'm, I'm talking to Wally. Holly, um, Mama's it. Barbecue Chicken and Salad Bar. He has turned his business around thanks to some crazy dancing on Facebook. Wally, Christmas last year. Yes. Wasn't a good time. No, it wasn't. Um, well, it was, it was okay, but it wasn't. We are like thinking, okay, now we've been here two and a half years, two years, coming to three years. What are we gonna do? Like we we we're, we're not making money. We keep putting money into the business. Do we shut doors? Do we sell the business and just as a loss and move on? And I'm like, nah, I, I can't. I've I know my food is there. It's it's my food is up there. I'm going to try something. How bad did it get? Did you look dad in the eye and go, I think you know, we either got to do something drastic and silly, or we close the doors. Yeah, pretty much. They got that. that, that that's how. That's how it was. Yeah. Tears. Yeah, tears. Um, even like uh, I had to borrow some money off my uh, sister a few times um, to pay a few bills and stuff, which is hard, you know. Even like you've done so well in the past and stuff, and then like. One shop just brings you down, but I, I was so de- determined to just turn it around, you know, like I had to do something. What did happen? Because you've got a great... I mean, I'm looking at your product. I'm pretty excited about lunch wall. Oh, um, yeah. And clearly the product's there. Great barbecue chicken. I'm reckoning you do a good chip. So I'm going to give you that. What weren't you doing? It's... People didn't know we're here. 
Aha. Aha. Discoverability, we call that, Yeah, Mom. Yeah, they, just, they don't know we're here. Um, we, we are still getting people don't know we're here and they live in the area. Wow. Yeah. So your old man, he's, as we were coming out to do this interview, uh, he was asking about the show and said it was a marketing show and yep. sort of threw his arms back and goes, oh, we've had the, we've had the hot air balloon on the roof. and we've Yeah, yeah, we've the big balloon on the roof uh, for two months. Massive special I had um, for that. Um, I've done coupons. The coupons was I was a loss for me. Wow. But just to get the people in... Um, We've done pamphlet drop. I've done over a hundred thousand pamphlet drops. Every two weeks, drop another two thousand. I'm, get, uh, I'm, get, 10, I'm guessing 000. you didn't drop them. Who dropped them for you? No, I didn't drop them. No way, I'm dropping them. <laughs> I can't even walk from here to the end of the street. Come on. <laughs> so you've tried a lot. It's not, it's not through lack of trying, right? You have you've given it a crack. I have tried yet. Tears over the Christmas dinner table. We might shut. We might not. We're not going to. You love your chicken too much. Is this when the video idea came into being? Yeah, yeah. Well, I've sort of all my life been... I love the camera. You do love the camera, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> I love the camera. I, I reckon you love the mic too. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind the mic. Yeah. It's, it's, okay, uh, so you're sitting the back. the camera's better. Yeah, okay. Well, we might do a little video afterwards, <laughs> hey? You'll get, I'll get you to do a flavour, flavour, flavour video. Flavour, flavour, flavour. So, so you love the camera. So you're sitting there going, well, putting a few pieces together. Yeah. Camera. What else? Food. Food. You, you bust a move. I do bust a move. I mean, seriously, man, I can't dance to save myself. And you have got a couple <laughs> of really good moves. So is that is that how it all came together? Yeah, yeah. It just, yeah, it came together like that. Um, I first started off doing videos without the dancing. Uh-huh. I was showing the food. Oh, sorry, I fell asleep then. I thought you said you were showing the food. Is that that all? That, yeah, well, that didn't work, did it? No, it didn't. It didn't. It didn't work as good as the dancing, <laughs> can I tell you that. It it did make a difference. Yes. Um, In what way? So you're just getting the video, the iPhone out no, no, well, and going, there's the roast chicken? No, no. I was, let's say, uh, a quarter chicken and chips. I would put it in a pack. I would sit down, have the camera face towards me, and I'll start eating and pull the chicken apart <laughs> in front of the camera. So it's just... Mouth watering. Oh, I love it. Flavor, 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 flavor. I <laughs> uh, love it. So, okay. So then, all of a sudden, you've gone. Oh, hang on. We're getting a little bit of reaction on Facebook by filming me eating chicken, which doesn't sound that appealing. But you've got something. A few people are coming in, going, like the way you eat, ate that thigh. Yeah. Mall. The breast. The breast, and then um, you've gone on to go. Oh, you know, start dancing, right? Yeah, yeah. Then, then. Um I did a video, it was um, maybe around Easter time, I think. I had um, Easter bunny ears on <laughs> and I sort of skip, hop, jump, don't know what it was, <laughs> in front of the shop. And it started from there, the dancing. I love you know? it. And then, yeah, it was a different, a different thing, a different video, different... It was all about dancing. And all of a sudden the whole energy change for you was it was like, oh, hang on, this is more fun. Yeah. Getting, getting more reaction. So, so describe to us, I am going to get you to do a video and we'll record it later, put it at the end of the episode if it actually works because it's quite visual. You, you know, you do love the camera, but describe a typical video to us. What goes through your mind? What are you, what are you going to do? Oh, spare at the moment. Spare, just, ah, okay. Just comes out. Okay. As soon as that music comes on, it just... And the hat comes on, I'm a different person. Isn't that interesting? Because the, the, you've got a couple of elements in there. You've got this music track, this doof doof music yeah. track that clearly means something to you. Yeah? Yeah. Did you get your first kiss to it or something? Yeah? No. That just wakes me up. Wakes you up? You've got a gold hat, oh, yeah. which you put that on. Do you feel like... Who do you feel like when you put that on? Um, <laughs> the king. The, the, the king, the legend. King Wally. King Wally. King, and flavor, flavor, flavor. I love it. So then you've got the tagline, and all of a sudden you're starting to create a story and a vibe and an energy yeah. that for you uh, takes you into another place. And yes. you're talking about your favorite thing in the world, the small business big market. Oh, no, chicken. Chicken. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. So what I find interesting about this is that you have grown up with a learning difficulty. Yes. So you found it hard to write and talk about, found how to write about your business. Yeah, well, see, 
it, it started like I used to see a lot of um, on Facebook and advertising people take a photo of something they want to advertise and they put a story towards it of how they want to sell it, which I can't do. I have no no experience on it. I've got a learning disability. I've always had it. I went to a special school, but I'm really good with my hands and um, with the camera. So that's how that came along um, with the videos. So anytime you needed to write something, it was like I don't really enjoy this. It's not my thing. Do you mind if I ask what was the learning? What is the learning disability? Well, so my my learning when I was in uh, high school. Year 12, let's say, um, my level was a grade one. Uh, you, you've been learning? Yeah. A grade one is in prep? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So, so you're, much, you're a much more visual, creative person than yeah, you are academic, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, so, like, everything was a, it was a struggle, you know. Um, but what I noticed in life was if you, re- like, wanted something done, you push, that, you push yourself that extra bit and it will get done. Yeah, and that's how I've always pushed myself. Good on you. Um, you know, I had to get my licence. So how to, how to get your licence, you have to read. So I push myself, you know. I, I, I read or I get someone to read it to me and then I'll read after them and then I'll tell them in my way of how to pronounce something. or And it, that's how I end up, you know, doing a lot of things. There'd be, I'm guessing, a lot of people listening to this interview uh, who also have some type of learning disability yeah. uh, who may not have embraced it, who are hiding and don't want to know anyone to know about it. Uh, they're running a business. They might be struggling through running a business. What do you say to them? Uh, well, if I can do it, you can <laughs> yeah. sort of thing. Um, don't give up. Yeah. Don't give up. Try Many things, um, yeah. I just you're a glass half full co- kind of guy, aren't you? Hey? Yeah, yeah. You're eternal optimist. <laughs> yeah, I love it. So you've done these videos. You, you've, you did one over Easter. Put the bunny ears on. That's had some yeah. reaction. You've been doing them for the last few months since. What's it done for the business? Incredible. Um, it's 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 built built up massive. It's bringing a lot of uh, new customers, um, even the old, our normal customers, they're coming in more regularly, you know, they, they, they love it. They love seeing us now, like, we've always been happy and they, and they, they even said to us, they're like, we didn't even realise your guys were in that stage because we didn't show it to them. And that's one big thing that you never, in a business... You show the uh, customers that you are struggling because they know they don't like that. They'll stop coming or whatever. But yeah, it's it's massive. It's I'm getting people from everywhere coming in from the area. I can't believe how many people literally live in our area, right? Because I just haven't seen them before. It's amazing. So you're getting a whole lot of locals coming in. Yeah. Well, I'm, ge- I'm guessing also what you've done is um, cemented in your existing customers' minds that they're going to the right chicken shop and That's not the right. one up the road. Yeah. Are you getting people who are travelling to Mama's Barbecue Chicken and Salad Bar from a distance where there's probably 10 other chicken shops in their area? Yeah. Well, there's a guy that comes nearly every week and he's always – he's from the northern suburbs. And That's uh, miles away. It is miles away. Um, he goes, oh. I'll travel for the good food. Because of the video? Because of the video. He came once and now he's been coming the last 10 times. So increased – can you put some numbers to it? You and I – I mean, show me a spreadsheet while and I go cross-eyed. I'm guessing you too. But yeah. do you know for a fact that there's more coming in now than going out? Yes, yes. How does that make yeah. you feel? Good. Good, very good. Massive. Good on you, mate. I mean, that's a, it's a big outcome. I, I want to put some numbers around a video you put out 17 hours ago from this interview, right? Okay, yep. So you'll know the one. It was actually a, it was a pretty good one, actually. How, how would you rate it? I thought it was some of your best work. Okay, yes. Did yeah, you like it? I'm trying to think. But let me tell you this. It's had 19,000 views. Oh, uh, yes. It has had 627 likes, 356 comments and 26 shares. Yeah, Yes, I know which one you're talking about now. Yeah. 
And I'm guessing you didn't get that when you saw, did a selfie video of you smashing down a chicken breast. No. I've n- never, like, and that, that, that's right, in 17, 17 hours, there you go, it's... That's amazing. It is amazing. And I've, I've scanned through the comments, if I could, can I give you a little bit of advice? Not that I would really know, but it'd be good if you can get around to replying to them. I know it was only 17 hours ago. It's very hard. Why? Replying. For you, or just finding the time? Just finding the time to, to, to reply to some of them. Right. Some of them I reply, some I don't. Yeah, I, I mean, that's 356 replies. That's a lot. Yeah. I get it. Uh, there might be... That one of the things with social media, while it's a, it's a two-way street, social, right? So if you're having a conversation, I say something, you say something, and it's a good way to treat social media. I never reply to anyone on my Facebook, but no, that's no, not true. I'm not going to send you a message. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> but um, And that's only going to increase. It's 17 hours ago, and they're all pretty positive, you know? So yeah. uh, you're building a real tribe. So... Um, increased customers, you're making more money, you've got this incredible tribe that you're building on social media. I'm interested in other outcomes. What's it done? I don't think you lack confidence, Walt, but what's it done for your confidence generally? Yeah, it's it's um, built, built it up a bit more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I've, um, I feel more confident. I feel more, you know, like exciting. Yeah. You've fallen back in love with your business. I have. I come to work and I'm, I'm more happy. I'm, yep. Today's going to be a good day. Today's going to be, you know, successful. Not, oh, not another day. What am I going to do? How am I going to do it? Do you have a, a strategy for the the videos? Like you're doing, you're not doing one a day. You're doing one a week. What's the idea? Yeah, one a week, two a week. Depends on um, how I feel. Like it would probably be good for you to schedule it. I'm guessing so yeah. that you know that you know what. You know, on Tuesday or Friday, I am doing a video. That's my day. You can start letting it percolate in your head as to what you're going to do. People can expect it. Yeah. You know, because right now they're going, oh, I wonder when his next one's coming, which might be a good thing. But I think over time, as this thing becomes part of your business, and I think it should, by the way, yeah. uh, it shouldn't just be – you can get it, You can get carried away with the excitement of this stuff and then it drops off. Your, yeah. challenge, your challenge will be to keep it exciting. So I'll the, keep it excited. Yeah, I'll call you in 12 months, while and see how it's going. Easy. Can I suggest another outcome? Because, they, again, I want our listeners to be seeing what's the commercial return of doing something like Wally's doing. Um, Sunrise, big TV show. They've yes. contacted you. You've done an interview there. You're on the Small Business Big Marketing Show. You're in the Herald Sun. Yeah, the local, the local paper as well. Great. A few... Um, what are those food challenge people? Oh yeah, yeah, they've got in contact with me. Oh, do you mean no, just, just individuals? In, yeah, individuals. Yeah, right. Yeah. They're going to take you on, are they? Yeah, they reckon they will. Good luck. <laughs> They're going to challenge the flavour, flavour, flavour. Have you ever done a food challenge outside Never. of just a normal Never. lunch? Never. 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 I think they will destroy me. Yes. I don't think they will, mate. What would your food challenge be? Would it be roast chicken? Oh, look, oh, yeah, I think so, just the roast chicken. I am in big sizes, but as well, I've noticed in challenges that I've just chuck everything together. Yeah. I'm more the flavour, the taste. So it's a little bit different. Uh, now, you've brought out some merch. Yes, yes, I have. Uh, T-shirts, singlets, hats, <laughs> hoodies. <laughs> You are maybe the, jocks are next. Maybe. No, I don't even go there. So, uh, Mert, where that idea come from? Well, I was um, talking with friends, and they're like, "Mate, while this is hot, hit it up." Yeah. Because you will get, you'll do well from it. Done okay. I'm like, I'm like at the start, yeah, oh, whatever. You know, I'm just concentrating on the shop. Yeah. They're like, no, no, I'll do it, and I have done it, and yes, it's it's been gone very well. Very well. You've got I, your own website, haven't you? Yeah. What is it? Yeah. Mummersmerch.com. <laughs> I love it. Once and again, <laughs> mummersmerch.com. Oh, geez, all right. Hey? No, I do love a bit of self-promotion, so go for it. <laughs> go for gold. Tell me, um, another interesting outcome is that you are now getting businesses outside of the barbecue chicken industry asking you to do videos for them and paying you. Yes. Yes, that's very correct there. Eh? Like? Well, um, I did a burger burger place as well. Right. I've done. Um, I'm doing a uh, a car yard during the week. Right. Um, Going to be selling some cars, and they want them 
gone some uh, old stock they've got they want to get rid of. So I'm going to do a video for them. Uh, whatever. Whatever someone's got there, I'll do it. You'll need a manager before you know it, Walt. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably do. I'll probably do. Yeah. I'll probably need the manager now. You, you probably do, mate. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm really honoured that you're sitting here with me doing this, <laughs> you know. I would have thought I would have gone through, you know, four lots of secretaries to, to get to the great Just man. The, nah. <laughs> well, I think it's a great story. I think uh, what you've done is really smart. You know, sometimes when we talk about marketing for businesses, it has to be for the big guys, and I yeah. t- totally disagree with that. Yeah. I think what you're doing is great. I think your challenge will be to keep it up and keep enjoying it. Um, I think you and I should go in and try this, you know, chicken salt challenger, uh, which I think, you know, you're, you're kidding me. Um, and uh, will you do a dance? Will you do a video for us? Yeah, 100%. We'll do a dance. Are you going to dance with me? Uh, I, I think we should do you first, <laughs> and then um, I go home. And then and, you go home. And, and while you're a great self-promoter, if you could finish off by letting listeners know where to find you. Okay, so it's uh, Mama's Barbecue Chicken and Salad Bar, 51 Heatherton Road, Endeavour Hills, for flavour, flavour, flavour. Buck, 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 buck. Oh, there you go. Wally. I reckon the business world needs more characters like him. What a great fellow and a great story. Big thank you to longtime supporter Robert Zarr for bringing Wally to my attention a few weeks ago. Uh, to see Wally in action, head over to smallbusinessbigmarketing.com forward slash 384 uh, where you can watch a couple of his videos, including one he did, especially for this show. Now, after we turned the mic off uh, and finished talking to Wally, I caught up with his dad, Joe, who offered some additional insights into how his son's Facebook stardom has saved the business. Uh, I think uh, he is just gifted. Like, uh, when you see his videos, you can see that uh, he's genuine. Nothing is written down, nothing is prepared. He just comes out with it. And uh, people see that and they get a laugh out of it and they come in... They want to take photos with him and uh, uh, do Snapchats and he talks about the flavour, flavour, flavour and they try the food and they say, hang on, this is flavour, flavour, flavour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they love it. And you stay over there while we're talking about and, you. And, and, and um, uh, as a father, proud? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm very proud. Um, like, uh, uh, just after Christmas we were considering selling the business for any old price. Uh, but he must have had a different vision and he thought now what can I do to change this and he started these videos and uh, the response has just been absolutely awesome what, what have you what kind of response have you seen ah uh, it's just a lot more uh, people like this place didn't have the foot traffic uh, that we are getting now and that's only through the videos that he's sending out there and, uh, yeah, like I said, people have been coming in, they taste the food, and they say, yes, this guy is right. It's flavour, flavour, flavour. What great additional insights there from Wally's dad, Joe. Coming up, I share my top three attention grabbers from that fireside chat with Wally. Plus, I've got an overdue, low-cost marketing idea for you. Now, I get how busy you are. So busy that you haven't written a blog post or added new content to your website in how long? A month? Ten months? Maybe never. Well, you're not alone. In fact, you're in the majority of small business owners who would rather set fire to their own legs than sit down and write a 500-word blog post even though they know it'd be good for business. But guess what? We speak up to three times as fast as we type. And thanks to Dragon speech recognition software, you could be smashing out content in literally a third of the time. Dragon converts whatever you say into words on your screen. It's ridiculously accurate right from the get-go, and it learns what you sound like, getting better each time you use it. I actually used it to write this ad. In fact, actually, I spoke this ad. Dragon works on PCs and Macs, and right now you can access an exclusive 35% listener discount over at getdragon.com.au. So get Dragon now and write as fast as you think.
This show is also lovingly supported by Fast Mail, an insanely secure, ad-free email hosting service for that beautiful business of yours. I asked Fast Mail's operations engineer, aka lead geek, Rob Norris, what part of Fast Mail geeks him out the most? Push notifications, actually, which sounds kind of ridiculous, but uh, but you know, an email arrives, and then you know, my desktop client and my phone both have the email there, sort of you know, within seconds. And I, I worked on a lot of that uh, sort of the infrastructure to make all that happen, and so I know how kind of complicated it is. So it gives me a little thrill every time I say, "Yeah, you know, all of that stuff's working, and I'm getting my email like straight away." Fast mail, where little thrills make a big difference. Packages start from less than four dollars a month. And you can grab a free 30-day trial plus 15% off your first year over at fastmail.com forward slash Timbo. Hey, whilst we're on the subject of ads and given other businesses are asking Wally to appear in their ads, I asked him if he'd do a quick read for me. Oh, boy, it ended up not being that quick. Okay, it's uh, Wally here, Mama's Barbecue Chicken and Salad Bar. Small businesses. I got that wrong, didn't I? <laughs> Keep going. I did. <laughs> it's Wally here, Mama's Barbecue Chicken and Salad Bar. You're listening to Big Businesses. <laughs> <laughs> Small businesses. Oh, I love it. I'm, I'm not going to leave. I'm going to lock the door now. You're not going to get out till you finish it. Small business. The sm- you know I've been practising this all week? I know you have. You're only human. Oh. And it's only Monday, so you haven't really been practising all week. The Small Business Big Small, Marketing Show. Small Businesses Big... No. Nope. The Small Business Big Marketing Show. The Small Businesses? No. Nope. No. The Small Business mm-hmm. Big... Marketing. Marketing. Show. Show. Hey, it's Wal here from Mum's Barbecue Chicken. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Mum's Barbecue Chicken. No, it's Wal. It's... Now I've got it all wrong. Hey, guys, it's uh, Wally here from Mum's Barbecue Chicken and Solar Bar, 51 Henry Road Endeavour Hills. I'm with the great team from the Small Business Big Marketing Show. Love your work, Wal. Let's go and do a dance. Done. <laughs> Oh, that was a lot of fun putting that together with young Wally. Here's my top three attention grabbers from my chat with him. Thanks to Fastmail and Dragon voice recognition software. Attention grabber number one. Honour your strengths and your weaknesses and then back yourself. Wally did. He put his learning difficulties aside, identified what he loved, chicken and making people happy, and what he was especially good at, being on camera, and then he went for it. He backed himself. You know, I really encourage you to choose a marketing idea that scares you a little bit and back yourself in. Go for it. And if you do, let me know. Attention grabber number two, stop waiting for the right light, the right hairdo, or the right anything. You know, Wally's videos are far from polished. His dad, Joe, films them on an old iPhone. The music sometimes distorts. There's customers coming in and out of the shop. It's noisy. You know, there's plenty of reasons for Wally to wait for that right moment. But instead, he goes for it. In a world of social media, iPhone cameras, all that business, we're actually pretty forgiving when it comes to video production. So focus on creating great content, right? Do that. Go for it. Back yourself. Attention grabber number three, work hard at maintaining the momentum you create with your marketing. It'll be easy for Wally to get swept up in all the initial excitement that he's created. The question remains to see if he can maintain it for the long term. I don't know if he can. I hope he can. It doesn't mean keep doing more of the same. It does mean evolving, doing things better, trying new ideas, but maintaining that momentum, that beautiful marketing momentum that you create is really important. That's what grabbed my attention. What grabbed yours? I'd love to know. Smallbusinessbigmarketing.com forward slash 384 is where you can tell me. What have you got to lose? 
It's time for one simple yet effective marketing idea that you can implement immediately. One that's not going to cost you a fortune and that might just generate you more awareness, more inquiry, ultimately more sales. ka I call today's idea the get responsive or get lost hack. Your business website might look great on a computer, but how does it look on your smartphone or a tablet device, a smaller screen? Eight years ago, maybe even three, it didn't matter much. But these days, if people can't easily view your products and services from their mobile devices, you risk losing them to a competitor who has taken the time to make sure their website is optimised for every type of viewing experience. Just think about your own internet viewing habits. Now, if you're still listening to Spandau Ballet, that's cool. I think it is anyway. Maybe you can get away with that bob cut from the 80s. I love that. But if you haven't gotten with the times and made your website mobile responsive, then it's time to make the move. You are losing business, right? So here's my three steps to creating a website that respects people's small screen viewing habits. Step one, get familiar with some responsive website design. Step two, go through your existing website with a fine tooth comb, dumping old content and adding new helpful content. If you haven't got a blog, then maybe it's time to add one. And step three, work with your web team. Don't try and do it yourself. Get a designer and a developer to bring this responsive website of yours to life. And here's the pro tip. Set a completion date. Remember what it was like getting your current website live? It was probably like pulling teeth, I'm guessing. Well, don't let that happen again. Remember, every day without a responsive website is another day with less customers. That's my three steps to creating a website that will get you more sales by respecting people's small screen viewing habits. Head over to smallbusinessbigmarketing.com forward slash 384 where you'll find a link to this post plus some additional resources to bring this idea to life, including 14 examples of great responsive websites. You can also grab a personalised copy of my popular marketing book, The Boomerang Effect, that will show you how to create content that engages people for your website. So, what have you got to lose? Well, that almost, almost wraps up another episode of the Small Business Big Marketing Show. But don't worry, there is plenty of marketing gold coming your way in the weeks ahead. I have got an interview coming to you with a fellow who has nailed crowdfunding and with some really, really smart ideas as well. He's going to share exactly how he's done that, so you can too. Hey, have you listened to the chat I had with the world's leading search engine optimization expert, Rand Fishkin? I asked him if it was reasonable for a small business owner to think that they can still get ranked on page one of Google. It is uh, slightly more difficult, but there's also actually more opportunity than there's ever been before. Uh, and we can talk about that, but, but some of the reasons why are there's actually more people searching than there ever were before uh, and more searches being performed by those searchers. So, you know, today ranking number three or four might be the equivalent of ranking number one four or five years ago. That's, that's how much traffic is going to those, you yeah, know, to those search right. results which is pretty awesome. Uh, and then the second thing that's exciting is that uh, there are a lot more different kinds of results in Google's first page than there have ever been. So, you know, five, six years ago, you might have performed a search and you'd see 10 blue links. Today, you perform a search, you're going to see local results and maps. You might see knowledge graph results, which are those big boxes on the right-hand side with all the information. You might see something called a featured snippet, which shows like an answer and an instant link up at the very top ahead of all the rest of the organic results. And there's you know, 30 other different kinds of results that you can show up in. So today, you might not have to do just SEO for those classic 10 blue links. There's other ways to show up. You know, that is one of my most popular episodes ever. Most shared, most commented on. Uh, People loved it, and I loved bringing it to you. Rand goes on to detail exactly what you can do to improve the rankings of podcast show notes, your blog, any page on your website. It's incredible. 
You'll find that full interview plus hundreds more over at smallbusinessbigmarketing.com or you can subscribe free on your favourite podcast catcher. Hey, I would love to hear from you. Seriously, I love hearing from my listeners. So head over to smallbusinessbigmarketing.com and hit the contact button and you can email me, connect with me on social media, even grab a free, not <laughs> grab a free signed copy, you can grab a paid signed copy of my book, The Boomerang Effect. I'd love to give it to you for free, but, you know, got to make a quid somehow. Check out Dragon's speech recognition software. If you want to save a massive amount of time and frustration replying to all those backed-up emails, writing reports, uh, or creating that next killer blog post, Dragon is ace for it. Visit getdragon.com.au for an exclusive 35% off listener discount. And check out Fastmail, private, secure, ad-free email hosting that's lightning fast. And they've got a 30-day free trial plus an exclusive 15% off your first year uh, just for you, the listener of the Small Business Big Marketing Show, over at fastmail.com forward slash Timbo. It's like it's less than four bucks a month. If you love the Small Business Big Marketing Show, then let another business owner know. Grab their phone, open up the podcast app, search for Small Business Big Marketing, hit subscribe, hand it back, say you're welcome, and run off. I'd love it if you did that. Until next week, I'm Timbo Reid. Thanks for tuning in. May your marketing be the best marketing. Bye for now.